There are a lot of sailing boats in this 61st edition of the Genoa International Boat Show, a quality sail that is well represented by the 80 boats on display and by the projects that the shipyards have decided to unveil precisely on this occasion. Wandering around the docks here at this international boat show, we've chosen the five boats that struck us most as we first set foot on board. From cruisers to the sportier ones, or even the multiple hulls, discover them with us and choose the ones that, in your opinion, are the most alluring. Our journey here in Genoa begins with large boats. This one is called Mommy, and it is the first, the forerunner of a new family of boats, or Maxi, and the 70 and 100 footer boats will be presented soon. The main feature of this 80 footer is the design of the deck, a so called flush deck which means free of obstacles, except for the presence of the jib barbers operated by a hydraulic system. Jib, Yankee or stay sail, the possibility of rigging for an owner is really wide. The main sail can be of high performance with a square top, or more cruising and less soaring. The interiors are enhanced by a large dinette area with a double L-shaped sofa along the sides, with a double table and a small wardrobe for the oilskin jackets. Continuing towards the bow, along the hallway, we have on the left a cabin with bunk beds and on the starboard side another cabin with a double bed, with its own bathroom, shower and closet. As soon as we make our way down the cruise stairs, we immediately come across the nav station. The chart table is very large, but perhaps not so deep. On the other hand, here on the panels, we find everything that we need to keep the status of the boat under control. Plenty of cushions and relaxation area for the guests and for the owner, like a true maxi. Among the family cruisers, we have chosen Oceanis 40.1 with the unmistakable Beneteau DNA. As on all the sister boats of this range, even on the 13 metre, the level of customization is maximum to make the owner's experience of navigation truly unique and unmistakable. There are two main versions, the first line with the increased mast and deeper shaft, which increases the writing moment of the boat or the furling mainsail and self-tacking jib for a more pleasant navigation. The double wheelhouse is set back in order to free up space for two larger L-shaped seats. There are four interior layout possibilities, from two to four cabins with one or two bathrooms. The woods are walnut or oak. Dimensions of the dinette and cabins take advantage of the edge that cuts the boat in two from bow to stern. The dimensions are those of a 45-footer. Automotive, aviation, nautica potrebbero sembrare mondi distanti l'uno dagli altri, ma non è così e la storia ce lo ha insegnato. Automotive, aviation and boating might seem worlds apart, but that's not the case, and history has taught us that. Not only because they pursue a path towards evolution, even by taking in the winning ideas from other sectors, but also because over time many synergies have been created, especially between the nautical world and the automotive one. We are on board Elan Shipyard's flagship, the GT6, born from the design of Humphrey Studio in collaboration with the Slovenian shipyard FA Porsche. The strong point of this project? 
having wisely created a truly surprising grand tour of the sea, with a well-defined soul that combines Porsche elegance and style with the maritime qualities of Elan and Humphreys. The balanced sail plan, the T-shaped keel, the important chain, the double rudder blade bring together a sporty but not exaggerated cruise racer. On deck, and especially in the cockpit, the style and vision of the Porsche Studio help make this performance cruiser an even more beautiful and refined boat. Sotto coperta, il quadrato panoramico. Below deck, the panoramic dinette, almost like a deck saloon, is flooded with light, thanks to the combination of light woods and large windows. And this here is the owner's cabin with a king-size bed. Among the catamarans, Fountain Pajot is the shipyard that, in recent years, has developed the most interesting projects. Fantastic catamarans made to be experienced in full sunlight, relaxation and comfort. And here we are on the flybridge, typical of Fountain Pajot catamarans. The command post is functional with Garmin instrumentation and the rigging is wrapped to three winches, placed slightly away from us. And here is the real big innovation of the Tanner 47, which will be duplicated also in the following projects. I'm talking about the use of solar panels integrated into the deck. Once the vacuum coating is finished on the deck, the panels are placed laying down and applied directly. The shipyard made us know that these solar panels can produce up to 5 kilowatts. Those who have made sailing their passion know perfectly well that every owner and shipyard have a common concern, and that is the end of life of a boat. So here from Genoa comes the solution with Eco Racer, the very first totally eco-sustainable racer, which is designed by three people who are well known and a guarantee in the world of regattas. That is Matteo Poli, Alessandro Pera, and Mattias Gonacoccia. This special one is built entirely of natural fibers with a recyclable core thanks to the use of a newly conceived resin. To complete the aggressive sole of this racer is the forward position of the wheelhouse that frees up space for the mainsail trimmer to facilitate teamwork, centralize the weights and allow the hull to fly over the water. This was the 61st edition of the Genoa International Boat Show, and for us sailing enthusiasts, this was an important showcase to understand the path traced by shipyards and designers who look towards a navigation that is fun, but increasingly attentive to onboard spaces and livability.